Good morning, everyone. So last time we have seen some of the sums related to the gravitational force, right? Which are not important for an exam because of the long calculation. But today we are going to see some of the sums related to gravitational force. But these examples are very important according to your exam because this sum does not contain a long calculation actually there is no integers involved in it generally these sums are also related to the same equation which is f is equal to g capital m small m by d square or the uh, multiplication of two masses divided by the distance square of the distance between what of them but the main thing is these sums are comparative sums in which if the one of the uh, term related to this equation is changed then what is the effect on the gravitational force these type of sums are here and these sums are very important for your exam so this is the most imp sums right so you have to give your full attention at Okay, so the first sum is the sum which is from the exercise. It is the first sum of your exercise. What is the question? If the distance between two objects becomes half, then what will be the gravitational force applied on both of them? There is two object, right? The two object has a two different masses, right? And they are applying a force on each other. But if we just decrease the distance between both of them and this distance becomes half of the main distance. So we just assume them. Assume. Assume. Assume that. Two object, two object of masses, capital M and small m, are at distance d from each. So there is a two object and the two object has a mass is m and the small m and the distance between both of them is d. Right? Then the gravitational force. The gravitational force which is f is equal to g gravitational constant the mass of first object and the mass of second object and square of distance both of them. So it is the gravitational force applied on both the object. Equation number one. Now what we have to do? We have to just take the half of the distance. When we have to make a two object near to each other, their distance become half of its main distance. Main distance is d, and you have to make it half, right? So as we did. Half distance. If we take a half distance, then the distance which is denoted by d1. If you want to take another, then you can take it d dash, dw, dr, ds as you want. I am just taking d1. Then the d1 becomes d by 2, which is the half of the main distance. d by 2. This gives you a half of distance. Now the gravitational force, if I take it as a F1, then the F1 is equal to G, which is constant, the value is not changing. The masses are also same, because we are not changing the mass of the object, or we are not changing the object, we are just changing the distance between both of them. So masses are same, and the distance become D1 square, because we are changing the distance, right? Now put the value of D1 from this. Then you get F1G, capital M, small m. 
instead of d1, I am just taking d by 2 whole square. And what will be the answer? The F1, capital G, capital M by small m. d by 2 square means d square by 4. This 4 is the denominator of the denominator. So it will go as a numerator. So what will be the answer? There is a F1. This 4 will go upside, then it gives you G. Capital M, small m. Into 4 divided by B square. I am just taking this 4 outside, then the F1. All are the manipulation, right? So, 4 G capital M small m by B square. Now, G M M by B square, right? This one. What is this? This is F. G M M B square. This is F. So I am just putting the value of it. Then it gives you F1 is equal to 4. So here it is your answer. The new gravitational force becomes 4 times higher than the gravitational force of first one. Right? So, gravity become four times higher than main so main force right the main force is f right and this gravity becomes four times higher than the main gravitational Okay, understand? So here it is a sum. The simple, right? You have to just put the equation. Then, what is the change? There is one term is change. The first, the change term is distance I am taking as a d1, which becomes half. So I am just putting the value of it. Then I have to just solve it. Right? So you get the answer, which is f1 is equal to 4. Just see. Okay, like that, there is also one another sum which is the sum of exercise, and that one is question number 6. Just open your book and question number 6 of an exercise. Open it, right? So the 
gravitational force. What is the gravitational force? It is F is equal to capital G. Capital M small m by D square. Equation number. Now what was the uh, what is our first question? The first question is that if mass of a one object becomes double, right? If mass of one object become double. If I take it a double mass of one of the object, then you can take capital M as a twice M or a small m as a twice M. As you wish, right? So I am taking as a capital M. So M1 is equal to 2 As a double, it is double, so I am just taking twice M. It is not half, it is double, so I am taking as a twice M. Now I am putting the value of it in the first equation, but for that, due to the change of M, the force will also change, that is F1 is equal to G. M1 small m divided by d square the another terms are same only the change is the mass of an object which becomes twice m now put the value of it capital G it's a 2m into m divided by d square so it becomes twice capital G m m by d square at here this one Right? It's the same. So I'm taking as a F1 is equal to 2. This one is at here. So it becomes F from equation 1. Right? So the force becomes double. Right? Gravitational force becomes So here it is your example. It is also easy, right? Just see. Now, like that, the second. What is the second? D1 as a 3D. Right? 
then the F1 is equal to capital G, capital M, small m by D1 square. Put the value of D1, so it's a capital G, capital M by small m divided by 3D square. C square is 9, so it's a capital G, capital M by small m, 9D square. So it gives you 1 by 9, capital G, capital M, small m by D square. So the F1 is equal to 1 by 9. From equation number, so like that you can get rid of the second, right? Just to see. So like that, at here it is a fourth part of it and it is a ninth part of it. Now the third one, that you have to do by your own self. I am just giving you a hint about it. In a third one, what you have to do? As you know that, the masses of both the object becomes the Masses of both object is the so you have to take m1 as a twice m and also a small m1 as a twice m. Then you have to put the value like that, capital G, m1, small m1 by b square. Then you have to put the value of m1 and m2. Then it becomes 2 into 2, 4. And it gives you 4 times higher force than the main force. Understand? So you have to do this sum by your own. Set, right? And all the sums which are related to it are very important, right? Because it can be asked in your exam for two to three months, right? So you have to just remember whole the process, how we calculate it. Not only that, you have to know about the terms, which terms is called what, right? Like a B, as we call it a distance, M is a mass. G is a gravitational constant, right? So we have to remember these all things. Understand? Thank you.